What is going on, y'all? Welcome to the Thai Life channel. My name is Min, and today I'm gonna make some chicken curry, y'all. I have a Christmas event at my dojo, and it's a potluck, and I volunteer, or you can call it my wife volunteer me to make this chicken curry. Well, actually, she should volunteer me to cook. I choose to pick the chicken curry. So what I got in front of me, let me see. We got some onion, garlic, chicken wings, curry paste, two type of potatoes. These are your regular baked potatoes, and these are the Japanese potatoes, and lemongrass, okay? So now, I got this at the Asian market, y'all, okay? I didn't go to any specialty store. You can just get this at the Asian market. The reason why I go to the Asian market is because they got this right here, okay? Lemongrass, I can't find them in any other American store. It's kind of rare. So let's go ahead and chop it up and get it going, y'all. All right, y'all. So the thing is, I'm not a chef, but I like to cook. I am the main guy that cooks at home, you know? And I just have to... Do what I gotta do to please the family, please the wife. Because that's how it is when you got a family, y'all. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this chicken apart. And it's gonna look a little sloppy, but we're gonna get it going. We are gonna get it going. Let's move this aside. So, so the way I'm gonna do is we are gonna cut this part off, okay? I don't think we're gonna want this part right here. I'm gonna put it over here. And I am gonna go ahead and cut this in half. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash it too. There we go. Mm. Boom. It's in half. Now I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna try to cut this in half. You know I don't make this I don't make this dish a lot. But tonight I'm gonna do it. Alright y'all, so check this out. I just finished washing the chicken. I wash it with salt. You know, you wash it. So what I'm gonna do is before I cut the potatoes, I'm gonna marinate the chicken real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna marinate with some garlic. Let's crush up some garlic, mm-hmm. Let's use this knife. And this is the way I cook my curry, okay? And it came out really good. Um, my wife, she's on her way to get some bread. You know curry, you wanna eat it with some bread. It's really good. And I'm excited because usually, um, I never been to a potluck, a Christmas potluck before, y'all. So, you know, I, I want to make some. Oh, that's a bad garlic. So let's go ahead and let's crush up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Let's chop up the garlic. So what I'm gonna do, see this chicken right here? I'm gonna go ahead and dump some garlic in there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some garlic. And what I'm gonna do, mushroom powder, y'all. You know, you can use like chicken powder. I'm gonna use mushroom powder. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some mushroom powder in there. We're gonna fry it up. And you know, we call this homemade. Like I'm not a chef, y'all, like I say, and I, I just want to share with you guys what I'm doing. You know, how I want to make this potluck. Going to a potluck. We're about to chop it up. Let's go ahead and put that in. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and give it a mix. We're going to mix it up, y'all. You know, we're going to mix this up. Homemade mixing right here. My hand is wash everything, y'all, so don't trip, you know? You got the tuna pigs in here, you see this? It looks like this right here, y'all. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze it. So we don't even have to touch anything. See that? Into this, y'all. Into this chicken right here. Smells good. This is how the tuna paste looks like, y'all. Y'all see it? Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Right there, y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, I'll... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to save this for later. And we're going to put it in the... Once we make this, the curry soup. Put it there. To see that, y'all? Let's mix it up. Let's mix all of this up. And the salt that you want to use is sea salt. Okay, you don't want to use the regular salt. All right. So while this is marinating for, I'm gonna go ahead and let this marinate for like good 15, close to 20 minutes. We're gonna fry this up, y'all. Be honest with you, uh, I, I I think potato is preference to uh, the taste. So you can use a certain type of potato you want. So this is the one that I picked today. And honestly, if you guys ever make curry, let me know how you guys make yours, you know. Um, I Like I say, I don't really cook this too much. But tonight, I want to give it a try. I want to bring this to the potluck. And I know they're they going to kill it. Last year when I went to the potluck, Every food was gone by the end of the night, so when people are hungry, everything goes down to their stomach. Okay, and the thing about these uh, potatoes too, guys, you guys have to fry it up a little bit. So this is how we're going to cut it once we will cut the skin out, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go and put this aside. We got the red potatoes here. All right, y'all, the potatoes took a while just to uh, cut off the skin. But anyway, so this is how we going to cut the potatoes. Uh, they usually like it kind of like boxy. I would cut it like this. And then maybe half of that. This one, maybe I'm going to go for. Kind of like this, y'all. There we go. Okay. Um, and how did I learn how to do all this? I did a lot of damn research on uh, YouTube, man. I just did that and then, you know, just go from there. And just start making it. And for these hard potato, I cut kind of smaller. For these one right here, the baked potato, they are a little bit more soft than this one. So I'm just going to cut it like this. And you don't want to cook it too long. Okay? You don't want to cook it too long. Um, here, let's go ahead and cut this in fourth also. It's pretty big. All right. You know, the dojo that I'm going to right now, I like that play. They build a good community. And... And you know, it's good for my kid to be in, around um, a good community. When you guys are raising kids, man, a good community makes a big difference. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and fry up some chicken and we're gonna fry up the potato before we even start the curry. Let me show y'all. So we got the chicken earlier, right? The chicken that we marinated with the curry and the mushroom powder, we got garlic and onion. So let's go ahead and put this aside. We got the fire on pretty high right now. And then what we're going to do, is let's go ahead and add some oil. Let's fry up that chicken real quick. Here, the oil that we're using, I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit of oil in there. Boom, there we go. We got some garlic and we got some onion. And we're going to sizzle it in here, y'all. Let's just sizzle in there. Let's go and get this. Let's go and sizzle in there. Y'all see that? Boom, right there. Okay. Man, look, when it comes to cooking, y'all, the damn preparation takes forever, right? You got to get the, you got to get the vegetables, clean up everything. Man, it's all going to taste good at the end, y'all. You remember those um, lemongrass I'm talking about, y'all? We're going to add some lemongrass in here. There we did. Okay. At this moment, it is good. Hold on. There it is. Let's go ahead and drop the chicken in there. Woo! You hear the sizzling. You are hearing the sizzling, y'all. You hear that? Mmm. Woo! 
Get it. So the reason why I'm frying the chicken is because I want the skin to be a little bit crispy on the outside so that when I pour it in the curry soup, it doesn't look like all like, you know, flimsy and all that. You want that skin to be tight with the chicken after you put it in the soup. That's why I'm frying it up right now, y'all. Got the sea salt right here, y'all. We're going to add a little bit of sea salt in there, okay? Just a little bit. Get that chicken to be a little bit salty, nice and salty. There we go. Boom. Look at the skin. You can tell the skin is getting tied up already. Y'all see from the chicken? Look at that. Mmm. Back to the grill. Back to the grill, yo. And thanks for watching. You know, most of my content is about nails. And you know, I do a lot of reality nail event and something that you can relate in reality if you laugh kudos you know but um i just want to let you guys know i'm very blessed to have a nail uh industry support and just the, the clients that really enjoy having me as the nail tech that that's awesome you know i i live for that it's not cooked yet but you can tell by looking at the skin let me show you the skin look at that the skin of the chicken is all curl up and that's how you want it to be back on it back on it on the grill you know it we gonna get this tuna uh we gonna get this chicken curry right, right. we gonna make this chicken curry right you know i like them thighs i like them wings I like the way the chicken tastes when I eat them in my mmm, 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 mm, mm. I'm gonna let this cook a good maybe five more minutes. It's still not fully cooked, but we're gonna cook in the soup, in the broth of the curry. We just want the skin to be nice and tight for now, and then now we're gonna fry the potato, y'all, okay? Give it a second. Give it a second. All right, y'all, so now that the chicken is kind of done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the potato, and after that, we are gonna start the curry soup. And that, we also need coconut milk, and I will show you guys all of that. There we go. I'm just gonna do my hand. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. So, this is the most I can fit in the pan, and I still got some potato left. We don't have to fry all of it. At least some of it or fry, it's gonna taste all good. It's all gonna go in the soup anyway, so let's just be real. gonna be the number one hit for the... Um, you, you think this is gonna be the number one hit tonight? For the potluck? Yeah. You hear that, y'all? Have you ever tasted it before? Uh-huh. Was it good? Oh, yeah. That is how you want... That's how you want your potato to look like. You see how your potato is kind of like orangey like that? That's perfect. Let's go ahead and turn it around. You see that, y'all? That's how you want the potato to be. Yup. Look at this one. Oil's like splashing everywhere, but it's okay. I gotta show y'all. Look at that one, y'all. Ooh, oil splashing. Gotta wipe it up. Ugh. This is real life, y'all. This ain't no food network or anything. I'm just showing you guys my lifestyle, you know, what I do and how I cook this curry. That's it. And if you ever, you know, when you, at first I thought this was a hard dish. I was like, man, how hard is it to make curry? At the end of the day, it's just the ingredients. You got, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at how yellow that is. Look how yellow that is. You see that? Perfect. Let's keep it, it, it's going yellow fast. See? Ooh, look at that. Let's turn it around. Look at this one. Ooh, splashing oil. I hate oil splash, y'all. It hurts. 
They say you'll get used to it. I never get used to it. I always jump, but sometimes I just suck it up. Mm. Look at this one, y'all. Maybe I should turn the fire down a little bit. There it is. We don't want a burnt potato. Perfect. I turn the fire down. There it is. There it is. And if you like curry, give it a thumbs up. I like curry. I like eating something with dips, breads, rice. You ever had curry with rice? Oh my God. Like the Indian restaurant, they have this thing called chicken butter. My God, I always have to have more of that. I can eat that all day. And the reason why you fry it up too, guys, is that you don't want the potato to get soggy uh, from the outside. Because if you cook it in the soup too long, the potato will get really soggy and you don't want that. So you want to make sure you fry it up so that you can cook the potato last and it should be all good. So we, about, we are about to be done with the potato and we are about to make the um, curry soup right now. We're almost done. You know, I'm telling you, the preparation takes long, but everything's going to come together. They all going to enjoy a good meal if you enjoy eating curry. And curry, you gotta eat it with like French baguette. So my wife, she's getting some French baguette right now. And we're gonna prep this right. We're gonna bring it to the event. All right, y'all remember the um, lemongrass? We're gonna go ahead and just stir fry that up real quick with the oil. Okay, we're gonna cook this lemongrass. Ooh, that smells good right there. Let's go ahead and put this in there. Go ahead and stir fry this up a little bit. Be careful, this ceramic stuff, it gets really hot, y'all. So, show you guys how it looks like. Look at that, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some more curry paste in there. Just squeeze it out. From, I, I cut a little hole, squeeze it out. We got coconut juice. We're gonna go ahead and add some coconut juice in here. Okay, we're gonna add some coconut juice in here. And we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and increase the heat. And we're gonna go ahead and pour in some more. Everything looks good. As you all know, you see how like it's very liquidy. You make it thick, you gotta put the coconut um, milk in it, okay? Just gonna just pour it out. There it is. I'm gonna pour the whole can in here. Ooh, yeah. Now it's coming out. Let me show you guys. Talk is cheap. Hold on, hold on. Talk is cheap. Let me show y'all. Look at this, y'all. After pouring the coconut milk, the curry is still very liquidy. So you guys can add some more coconut um, milk if you guys want. But let's just mix it up real quick. Because too much coconut milk can be very overpowering. And you don't want that. And a lot of time, Vietnamese um, chicken curry, we like it kind of like liquidy like this. So we can actually eat it with this noodle soup. That's why. Here it is. So we're gonna scoop it out, look. See all, all this foamy stuff right here? I'm gonna show you. Come closer. You see all that foamy stuff? Look. We're gonna get all that foamy stuff out, okay? Cause that's, that's not gonna taste good. Cause that's the stuff that from the chicken and all that. Okay? Look at that, see? Let's go ahead and put the potato in now. I'm gonna put the potato in. All right, that's all the potato right there. Perfect. Ooh, that. All right, let's go ahead and stir it up. Let's see what's going on. Yes. I might just add a little bit more salt and that should be it. Just add a little bit more salt. This is how it looks like, y'all. 
after all the preparation, the potatoes, look, look how nice it look, okay? And you're gonna eat it with the French baguette, it's on its way. I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna bring it to the potluck, and I'm gonna show y'all how people gonna enjoy it. If not, I'm gonna enjoy it, shoot. That's how it works, but look at this, mmm. Your mom bought enough. This is not good. How does it look? Good? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Can you hold it? Oh, we all set. I might drop I might drop your phone. This is our dojo play right here. Um it's called martial art. Uh Kai. Bushido Kai martial art. Alright. Uh, excuse me with the right. bubble, okay? What? what is it? <laughs> oh my god, it spills so much in here, babe. Hey, no! Look at this. I don't feel it. Honey, you can hold it. It did not move. Oh my god, look at this. It turned into a happy little dish into a disaster. I don't know, my dad asked me to. Hold on. We, we got places right. What is somewhere where no one Stephanie, is there a spot where I can put this curry? What's going on? Is there an alarm? Oh, the bread. Yeah. And let's go ahead. There we go. What's up? Okay. Hey, get mommy, get mommy. How excited hey, are you? How excited, excited are you? Let's go. Yeah. This is the man who yes. inspired me to do what I do right now. Is? Yes, you are. You are. You are. Okay, good. Big, big inspirational. This is the Dojo family right here. Got everybody, all the kids. Sensei right here too. When was the last time you go to a Christmas potluck with this many people? And you're gonna, and you're gonna get hula too. Hula, also hula. So there we go. How excited are you? Are you super excited? Yeah. You can't stop jumping or what? How do you feel? Tell, tell the viewer how you feel about Santa. See, were you excited? What the heck? Is this your best friend or what? Who, who, who's your BFF? Oh no! All right. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, no fighting, no Hey, no fighting in line, no fighting in line. Oh, right, you're next, Kaylin, you're next. Go, 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 Kay, go, go. go. Go, Katie, pick a gift. Or they think gonna Colin. Aw, little my boy. Good job, Colin. Good job. So handsome.